time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And you know where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda. That's G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter, so follow me there too. And it's time to get this review started and unboxing. Alright y'all, look what I got. A little box. It's a small one this time, a little box, but it was sent to me by the Focus Features in honor of the new movie that's out today, Land. So first let's take a look at what's in the box and then we'll do a little mini review. Y'all ready for this? If y'all don't know what this movie's about, Land, we're going to discuss it. It has Robin Wright who acts in it and directed it. This is like the first movie she has directed and she stars in it. That's got to be tough. She, you know Robin Wright, she was in that Netflix show House of Cards with the Kevin Spacey. First, look what I got. Look what I got. I love. It's cold here. So you know I can use this. This is going to keep me warm. And I look cute in it. Don't I look cute? All right, let's see what else we have in the box. Oh, look at this. It looks like some sort of candle. Oh, I'm right. It smells like it too. Oh, it's hard to get this thing open. Oh, it is. Look. A nice cinnamon. Well, I told you it's a small box. I only have one other thing. But look. Look at these old. You never see these kind of old school matches anymore. I don't even know if I would know how to to work a match. Let's see if I can live off the land and light a match. All right, y'all ready? Let's see if I can light a match. It, it's got the long stick and everything. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about lighting this match. Oh, I did it! Oh, look, I'm gonna light the candle. We're gonna light it live. The movie kind of reminded me a bit about, of like Castaway. You know Castaway that had the Tom Hanks where he flew in the plane and it crashed and then he was like trapped on a des deserted island and had to kind of survive off the land there. This movie's a little bit like this, except, you know, Tom Hanks didn't want to have to be isolated on this island. But in this movie, Robin Wright, she decided she just wants to be isolated from the world, go up into the like Rocky Mountains or, or Smoky, one of the mountains, and live off the land in this little tiny cabin with no cell phone, not, nothing, by herself. She even drove up there with a U-Haul and then told the guy to take the car back. And let me tell you, it's a little bit different from, you know, trying to survive on a tropical island with, with Tom Hanks and his, and his volleyball, Wilson, than it is with Robin Williams up in the mountains when it's snowing, freezing, and you got bears coming to attack your little cabin. Well, we see after a while that, you know, things don't go very good for her, and she is trapped there by herself up in the mountains in the snow and, you know, almost dying. But you kind of wonder that if that's what she wants. Maybe that's why she wanted to go up there. She wanted a reason to escape out of life and, and possibly die for, and join the people that she lost. I don't know. Now, the movie is really short on dialogue. I mean, she don't even have a, a, a volleyball Wilson to talk to. She doesn't. So when she's out there isolated on the land, it's mostly just watching her try to survive and do some things. So the movie is really slow paced in that way. And it doesn't even pick up until the guy who comes along the hunter and, and shows her how to hunt and stuff. It picks up after that and that's when you really get into the movie. But you gotta even appreciate before that. Because even though, you know, it's not much dialogue, not much happening, the, the visuals in this movie are stunning. Just, oh, the mountain visuals, the, the mountains, landscapes, the, the, the streams, that it was just such a gorgeous thing to watch. You're watching that movie, it's like nature is a character of its own in this. That's how beautiful it is. It's like nature is its own character and you're just, you know, s stuck to the, you're just, your eyes are just stuck to the screen just looking at the beautiful landscapes. And this movie could not have come in a perfect time. I'm right, am I right? Especially when, you know, we get, we get these gorgeous visuals. At a time when, you know, we've been stuck in our homes for almost a year now. This pandemic, we've been quarantined in the homes almost in the year. We need this escape. We need this visual escape. And this is like an escape, you know, it's given us escape into the mountains where we get to see nature again. See anything that's just not what's directly outside of our window. Of course, the lessons are ones that you will take with you in. And they'll touch your heart. It's one of those to touch your hearts and, and, you know, probably at the end bring some tears. I totally enjoyed it. 
I may not be it for, for everyone, especially when it gets a little slow. It's in theaters now, February 12th, land. I'm sure it's going to come probably to streaming services soon. PVOD, it always does since not many can go to the theaters. If you've already seen it or plan to, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that below. And I'm going to have pinned down below my full review. Until next time, mwah!